Happy Friday, you lovely lot. It is Friday the 4th of March. I have just been uh, reminded by my lovely wife of the date, but I should know that because it's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Kelly. Uh, Big Clock is saying it is quarter past 11. And yeah, it's a Friday. I've just finished uh, washing up. I've had a scrub. And uh, yeah, it feels, feels weird vlogging. After our lovely trip, and then like a couple of weeks ago, we did one, but yes, back in it. How are we, wife? Yeah, all right. Well, I didn't ask you. This is how out of um, practice I am. I didn't ask you if you were vlog ready. I knew that you were vlog oh, ready. Kind of. You look lovely. Thank you. How are we? Yeah, good, all right. Yeah, good. Busy old week. Good, yeah, and a busy weekend. <laughs> yeah, and a busy weekend. Yes, so you are joining us for another fun packed weekend um, with us here at Cheers Ears HQ. We are we have got um, washing, ironing, housework, cooking. Uh, got a couple of fun things happening because um, me and the kids are going out tomorrow night on Saturday. Hold on a second. Tent box still hasn't made it on top of the car. That is a, another job for this weekend. House, as per usual, is in a bit of a state. Um, but you know, we are where we are. Business is buoyant, which is nice. And uh, yeah, huh? I'm these. <laughs> <laughs> these are mattresses for our caravan. So we've got one that's a special shape and one that isn't. And apparently, these mattresses are the bomb because um, everyone reckons they're really good. They're called Duvalet mattresses, they were double dear, but you know, don't want to get caravan and it'd be all uncomfortable. <laughs> Especially if the governor isn't comfortable or cold. I've got a problem with gas. There's a gas shortage at the moment. So there is a chance that our caravan might be a little bit cold. And if if I like add cold and uncomfortable, that is not going to go well for me. Anyway, so yeah, we've got to get those to the caravan, which is stored at like a storage place because we haven't got anywhere to keep it. So not interesting. Anyway, so today, uh, we've got a bit of housework, got a couple of jobs to do, nice and busy at the B&B, got a reunion on. Um, and then tomorrow I am going, where are you Trace? Not about. Um, and tomorrow I am going off with the kids to the Mayflower in Southampton because me, Daisy, Luke and Sam are going to see uh, the Book of Mormon, which we've had booked and cancelled a few times because of, you know, all the COVID and stuff. So, uh, yeah, Tracy was going to come with us, but we were hoping to have some sort of <coughs> employment or staff member in, in place by, by now, but that hasn't happened. So, unfortunately, I know Kylo. So, unfortunately, Tracy isn't going to come with us to see the show. But they went to see Sixth a little while ago. Is it Sixth or Six? I don't know. Six. Six. <laughs> Six is the car rental place, isn't it? Oh, that would be a fun musical about renting cars. <laughs> Don't steal that. I'm going to get right in it. Um, so, <coughs> yes, Tracy went to see Six, and so I get to get to see Book of Mormon, which has worked out well because I didn't want to go and see Six, and I do want to see the Book of Mormon. Um, so yeah, we're doing that tomorrow. Takeaway night you. tonight. What? It worked out well for you. Yeah, it did work out well for me. <clears throat> Sorry about these. These are pillowcases, which um, are going to need more attention. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with that, but things are good here. I have been pretty good on my, I've been good on my fitness. You've been very good on your fitness. I can't believe how good you've been on your fitness. Actually. I've been very good, but why am I being very good on my fitness? I can't stop eating sweet things. <laughs> you've got very sweet, sweet I, food. I think, and I spoke to a mate of mine who also gave up booze. So I've been off booze now for three years, it was three years in December. Hello, mate. Hi. How are you? <clears throat> Camera out. Vlogging. No one's has anyone seen your massive um change? Oh yeah, I forgot I forgot about it. Your elf. Yeah, no, I need to uh I need to give it give her another clean. And also you're in like you're in Cheers's merch. Yeah, of course, mate. Ta -da! Hello! You're just yes. a blonde boy. Actually, you look because you're against a white wall, you look like you're just a head. Yeah. And you got um a, you got a Cheers Ears a certified game changer. I'm going in on chest. Yeah guys, if you go to the Cheers Ears store, you can get these shirts for the low low price of 
uh, that's before tax. Uh, and we do have some uh, discount codes in the description below. So we don't. This is, as you might imagine, this is all rubbish from Luke. How are we, number one? Good. good. Yeah? Yeah, I'm working. Nice. Keeping busy. It's the first time I've seen you this morning. I oh, know, I'm, I'm just out there on the grind, mate. Bonjour, welcome to the vlog. Nice Spanish there, I didn't realise we were so uh, <laughs> multicultural. How are we? Yeah. I was just telling our friends that uh, I've been very good on my fitness, but I've been not very good on cake. And what do you keep doing? Feeding you cake. <laughs> it's fun. It's, um, your willpower's got worse and worse when it comes to eating. It was just sugary foods, now it's just foods. Yeah. So I can just go to the Thai shop, buy a cake, come back and trust that you're going to get fat. That cake from the Thai shop is so, so good. good. How good was that uh, boba tea from yesterday? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically, um, as you regular viewers will know, with our, where we are, we're right opposite a Thai shop, so uh, we might do some cum Thai with me this weekend. We've got some fried clams in the, uh, in the cupboard. Some fried baby, <laughs> canned fried baby squid. No, clams. Is it clams? Yeah, yeah. Oh. The, the stick was originally over it, so it just said uh, like tin <laughs> fried babies. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, so we have been, um, we've been patronising that shop quite a lot lately. Anyway. Is patronising the right word? I think so. It's like when you use it, you go and buy stuff from I it. I thought patronising is like if you're talking down to someone. I think that's patronising. It's the same thing, is it not? I'm not sure. I am. Mm. I'm not sure either. Mum will know. And uh, we've because been perusing their wares, we've been perusing their wares. I've been, as I said, I've been really good at my fitness. I've been getting up at five forty-five every day, except weekends where I get up at six forty-five. And you've been doing little posts on Instagram as well, yeah, saying these views didn't come easy. <laughs> Hashtag the grind. Um, you, you've gone full influencer with it. We've got the merch. We've got the motivational posts. Um, anyway, <laughs> I've been getting up and doing pelotons or I've been going couch to 5k and my knee is holding up. But the other thing that we've been doing, I've been doubling up training because we started, we're gym buddies. Oh, so big. You are big. It's the shirt, really. It's not, it's the get programming. The go, go to the description, get the shirt, make <laughs> sure look massive. This shirt is not available. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Dad's programming? It's annoying you, isn't it? <laughs> Tell me why it's annoying you. Right, so, look, I'm not a personal trainer, eh. even though I may look like one. However, right, I, f I feel like if you work out, you're supposed to go to the gym or whatever and do a whole host of, of muscles, right? You do your arms, your chest, the glutes of us maximus, uh, the bunda as they call it, uh, and, 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 and legs, whatever, right? So you do like a, a bunch of stuff. What Dad does, he goes, right, it's, it's, it's arms day today, which isn't technically true, it just means it's bicep day. And it means <laughs> and triceps. And triceps a little bit, but we should be doing more of that. We get there, we'll be like, right, we'll do a quick warm up, do that, and then he's like, right, we're going to do some curls. So we'll do curls, ten set, uh, three sets of ten, and we'll be like, right, we'll do something else now. Oh, what's that? More curls. But like, this time, hold your hands differently. So instead of that, it's that. It's like, okay, cool. What's, what's after that? Okay, we're doing curls again, but we're sitting down this time. <laughs> so it's going to isolate. Okay, cool. What's after that? It's like, okay, so we're going to do that one, which which is a bit different. We do that. Oh, cool, sweet, we're spicing up now, what's next? I'm going to do more curls. <laughs> this time I'm just going like, to alternate between them. It's stupid! But what's it doing? I don't know! It's working! It's making me tired. <laughs> Both emotionally and physically. Because every set I'm like, oh, I can't wait to do more of the exact same thing. And what do I do every time you like question my programming in a sensei-style fashion? You swear at me. I go, it's... Banzai, Daniel-san. So yes, Luke is uh, benefiting from my expert programming. Stupid. It's not stupid, it's <laughs> working. And you forget the days, so sometimes we'll do two arm days in a row. Gains. Right, I have got to measure the inside of a fridge now because someone wants to sort a wedding cake. Nice to see you, Luke. Get back to work. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it could be, you know, you know with these things it sort of gets on and on and about a bit and we ramble on a bit. I've just looked at the timer on this. I've been rambling for nine <laughs> minutes straight. Well, it wasn't all ramble, was it? But just think, it makes ramble it easier for you to edit. It's just like, maybe we should do this in a one -er. Do you remember like when they used to do that with ER or... Um, oh, like a live... Just do a live yeah. one and just like see if we can do that. Oh, we should do that. Not Obviously not over a weekend vlog or oh, bore off. <laughs> uh, what have we been watching? We've been watching Inventing Anna. We've nearly, we nearly bailed on that at the beginning because yeah. that is slow. Yeah, the first two episodes were really slow. It started to gather pace episode three, but we nearly bailed on it. It's, um, yeah, it's getting, getting to the point where I'm glad we've watched it now and I'm, I'm looking forward to 
the conclusion. Yes, I'm glad we watched it too. Um, yeah, it is really, really slow. We've nearly bowed on it, but it's got uh, Ozarks, which is one of our favorite program. It's got the girl from Ozarks. Um, uh, so yeah, that is really, really slow, but we're on the last episode now. There's nine episodes, so we are deeply invested. <laughs> it's, it's... And we have watched the first half of the latest season of Ozarks, but they're having a mid-season break. Yeah, that's annoying when you do that, especially when I've got a bad memory. Oh, is it patronized or patronized if you go shopping? If So do we patronize the tie shop over the road? Yes. I don't think you do either. I knew I was right. Okay. You think? Our friends will tell us that we're wrong. <laughs> yeah, uh, and every time Luke tries to go back to work, Kylo yeah, follows him. Demonstration. Yeah. Going to remove him from the area completely. <laughs> I think we put him on the table. So you... Don't put him on the table. That winds me up. Right. And now here I am, just off to work. <laughs> oh, Kylo foiled again. How are we, Kylo? All good. Say hello. Don't eat the camera. Right, I better crack on. Right, it is five to four. I don't know where today's gone. Um, yeah, done Tesco's, had lunch. Hotel's all kind of ready. Tracy's doing business. What are you doing? Editing. Eee. Editing something that's not a Florida lot. How did that feel? So, bittersweet because I'm missing the Florida vlogs. So I really enjoyed reliving them and editing them. But this is a really cool vlog of stuff that we've been up to here and there over the last month so nice nice to see that as well nice right so i'm gonna get uh i'm gonna round up number one son and head to the gym big clock is saying it is 10 to 7 um we are getting everything ready we've ordered we've got a really nice kebab shop down the road and i've been crate there for some reason their chicken burgers are awesome everyone wanted domino so i was on board with that but i've gone rogue i've ordered my own trace Hello. You are doing more editing. The cats are chilling. And for some reason, after I got back from the gym, I've eaten loads of chocolate and a couple of protein bars, which are basically just chocolate bars nowadays, aren't they? Anyway, um, still on a bit of a health kick. Tracy and I are having in the morning honey, ginger and lemon, which is really nice, isn't it? It's very nice, yeah. And so we've got a juicer. So I've been juicing my ginger. So this is the amount of ginger I buy. That will last us about a week. And then we stick it through this very noisy machine and then have it in the morning. There we go. Right, Domino's has arrived. The world's greatest chicken burger is in my lovely bag and that's arrived. We've had a bit of a hiccup for tomorrow, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> We've had the Book of Mormon booked at Mayflower in Southampton since May 2020 so it's been moved twice so this is the third time that we've tried to go and see it and I thought it was the evening performance tomorrow and it's not I've just checked it's the matinee which I wasn't able to make it anyway because of staffing so Sam was gonna have my ticket and go tomorrow night but he's now working tomorrow so he can't go during the day and what's spare ticket so we're trying to find someone to use our spare ticket yeah so a bit of a bit of a you know, it's been moved three times. I lost track. <laughs> Evening, Samuel. Welcome Hello. to the vlog. How are we? Good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Good, good. Gutted you can't come tomorrow now. I know, six to six shift in the ambulance, so... Saving lives. Absolutely. Making a difference. <laughs> right, so we are going to settle down for the evening. We are going to start watching, fingers crossed it's up, the new um, Florida series from the absolutely wonderful Despicable 3. So we'll be sitting down with that and we'll probably finish that inventing Anna because we're a little bit left to do. So we will see you lovely lot in the morning. Happy Saturday you lovely lot. It is Saturday the day after yesterday whatever. The oh it was the 4th of March yesterday. Yeah, Plays right, right, are hard. Right. Are hard. Uh, so yesterday was the 4th because it was my sister's birthday. Uh, the children did you speak to your auntie Kelly yesterday? Couldn't go through to her. Yeah that's right. I sent her a text. What? We couldn't get through to her. We tried to FaceTime her. She wouldn't go back. She, she thought it's, it's that so it's not worth the egg. No, at the end. Right, it is a quarter to 12. Um, I am feeling, for some reason, very, very positive. I don't, I know what it is. Have I told you I've started taking cold showers in the morning? No, but I went through a doing that and my life was better. Yeah. Mm. I'm not having like full on cold showers, but I also no, went for- No, you're not going full on. No. 
You got to shock the system. Yeah, I've been doing it for about two weeks now, every morning. So what I do, I get in the shower. All right, don't picture it too much. It's not as... <laughs> it, it, it helps. Picture me in the shower. <laughs> yeah, picture Luke in the shower. <laughs> um, so what I do, I put it on cold. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to sucking eggs with Keith. This is how you take a cold shower, obviously. Um, you know how to take a cold shower. So yeah, I get in the shower, it's cold, and then I count <laughs> I count to 20 elephants, and then I turn it to hot, and then it gets hot, I have a wash, and then go to work. Anyway, I am feeling... So you want full cold at the start? Full cold. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, I am feeling... I've heard that it helps your mental health, and like makes you feel more positive. I am feeling... Trace! I am feeling so positive about our future and plans that I'm running through my head, it is going to blow your mind and really annoy you because I've got so many ideas. Oh, it's, okay. it's already, I'm going like, ah. It's like I've just put new glasses on and the whole world, my whole landscape is different. It's rose tinted. I can't believe it. I've got, um, there's going to be some massive changes or ideas that I've got, like big stuff. You heard big, it. big, like big stuff. Like, you heard it here first. <laughs> I'm really excited. Like, probably they involve you, they involve you, they involve Daisy. Uh, but well, your excitement is indirectly proportional to mum's. Like, the more excited you get, the less excited mum gets. <laughs> I am so excited about life at the moment. And I think it's down to I'm exercising every morning. I am eating way too much cake. If you. <laughs> Always makes you feel Yeah, Luke keeps feeding me. It's like a game. I haven't been on the scales for a couple of, but I have put on quite a lot of weight. But I am exercising every day and some days, two days. Uh, what are they, M&M's? No, M&M's. No, I'm all right, thanks. Sure. Yeah, I just can't stop eating. But I am feeling super enthused about everything. I've got some amazing ideas. And also I've decided to stop putting up with crappy service. Whoa. Yeah. What's this about? People not phoning me back. I'm supposed to have builders coming in. Uh, this time next week they should be in. They've not confirmed. I'm going to start like, I'm not putting up with it anymore. And I'm, I'm just going to say, look, do you want the job or don't you want the job? Because I'll find someone. Because I'm not putting up with that anymore. Anyway, we've had a lovely- It's an emotional roller coaster. It is an emotional roller coaster. We are, um, Tracy has had a delivery this morning that has made me so happy. Look at these. Look at these cushions. I'm not overly happy about the I do like these cushions, but the cushions aren't the source of my joy this morning. But Tracy's ordered those for our little caravan. So she's going to make it all nice and homely and be cushiony. Anyway, um, we are off to... We've had a busy old morning. Done the breakfast. You are going to be blown away by my ideas, Trace. I am, I am unstoppable. You know what we haven't revisited for a long time? We haven't been Team Rhino for a long time. We haven't time. Tracy and I are Team Rhino, that's like our spirit animal because if anything gets in our way, we don't go around it, we don't go over it, we go through it. So Team Rhino are back, well, Tracy might need a bit of, a bit of coercion. She's on Team Rhino, bless her. <laughs> she is, oh I like that. <laughs> she daft, love it. Um, so we weren't able to find anybody for our spare ticket to the Book of Mormon, so um, we're off. It's, we're leaving here at 12.30. I've got to go and do quickly do Tesco's. We've had a kind of a busy morning. Tracy's left in charge of the shop. So we'll see you lovely lot in a little bit. Right, we have arrived in, in Southampton. How are we all? Yeah, mate. Yeah, really good, mate. Yeah, nice one, mate, really. Just happy to be here, do you know what I mean? You right, Daisy? I'm good, how are you? Good, we bought snacks as well, haven't we? We've got we? snacks, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm glad we, <laughs> our roof rack caught on the uh, thing as we came in. We're very, we're very close yeah. to the ceiling. It was Dad was driving around like this, like, <laughs> oh. Because if you, if you duck down in the car, then that lowers the whole car. I was just worried about driving directly under the, the lights. The lights, <laughs> yeah, so it'd be interesting. I think we've got plenty of clearance, but I think I had like one of those like wobbly things as you drive through, which we gave a little, bit of a, a little bit of a love tap to. Anyway, um, the show starts at 2.30. It is 20 to two, so we might go and get a drink first and then go and, you know. <sighs> Get our Book of Mormon on. Woohoo! Woohoo! We are here. Have you been here recently? You have been here recently. This is where you saw six, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, right. That was nice and easy. Easy journey, too. This theatre's lovely. This theatre's lovely. Yeah. Right, we're all in. This is the Mayflower in Nisa, Salisbury, Southampton. What do you like? It is beautiful. Got all the orchestra down there. You excited? 
I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm around. Right, what do you think? Oh, blue and brilliant. That I loved was, it. It was joyful. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Sorry, good. It's, it was Very a fun filled romp for the whole family. <laughs> Very niche market, though, I think. But yeah. not, well. I, th I think it's for everyone. I love it. Yeah, that was absolutely 10 out of 10. Loved it. We're all back in the car. That show was a 10 out of 10. Obviously, it's Thanks. not that. It was excellent, wasn't it? I loved it. Jesus. I've got, I've got too much hand <laughs> sanitizer. <laughs> oh, you are a <laughs> slippery. <laughs> um, some. No. You know, the subject, it's not. I don't for, want to touch it. <laughs> it's not for everybody. I wouldn't take my mum to see it because <laughs> because that would be interesting. But that was at the Mayflower in Southampton. And. The whole ease of use. We went to see um, Waitress a couple of weeks ago with my mum in Woking, and that was a real faff getting to. Parking was difficult, traffic jam getting there. But the Mayflower in Southampton, no, superb. I love, I love the Mayflower. Yeah, and the Fiesta is really, really nice. Yeah, everything was great. That was an amazing show and a really lovely experience. Right, it's coming up for 10 past five, so we're going to phone Tracy and head back. Cheers, is. It's not cheers ears, yeah, is it? Cheers it's is. always cheers ears. So while, while we've been out enjoying ourselves, you've been hello I've freshing. I've been holding fort and getting dinner prepped. Although, to be fair, I'd only done a bit of prep by the time you got back and Daisy helped me cook it. So it's been a team effort. Nice, what we got? We have got turmeric roasted cauliflower. We said we didn't have turmeric, they didn't send us any, but it's kind of like a curried roasted cauliflower with lentils and coconut dal. So that's mm. what we've got. And that's kind of what it looks like. And then we've done a little bit of mushroom rice with it just to. It looks and smells lovely. Why are you blowing on my neck, you freaky weirdo? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's quite nice. And some mushroom rice. It looks amazing. And Kylo. It's just chilling. Just chilling. His ears are backwards. I don't know if he's that happy. What do you think, Kylo? Meow. Yeah. It is 10 past 10. We've had dinner. Dinner was fantastic. Good job. Oh, it was excellent. It was really lovely, yeah. Yeah, really, really, nice. really lovely. We do get HelloFresh fairly yeah. regularly, but I think it's a bit of a faff, especially for weekdays. It's nice for a Saturday, we've got time to do it, and Daisy and I cooked it together, so that was nice. So. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. We just started watching West Side Story. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, we'll Brilliant. finish that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, really, really impressed with that. The way that's filmed and the way it looks, it's all kind of like, feels kind of like a remastered, a remastering of the original. Anyway, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be up nice and early, going to do a cheeky peloton before work. And um, we'll see you lovely lot in the morning. Happy Saturday. No, it's not. <laughs> Happy Sunday. You lovely lot. It is coming up for quarter to 11 and we've had a busy, busy old morning. Probably the most, the most busiest breakfast we've had since COVID. Good morning, wife. It was busy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. not used to it. <laughs> I miss that lockdown times. Um, so yeah, we have just been smashed. So, you know, that's uh, you know, what are you lovely lot doing on your Sunday morning? I've got to get my kitchen spick and span. However, I've been a bit of a winner this morning, up at quarter to seven. Good job, Kifo. Did a cheeky peloton. I burnt off 560 calories, Trace. Even before breakfast. Even good. before breakfast. I don't know what's going on with my hair. Um, so yeah, we've had a busy breakfast. We have, um, you know, the girls are on rooms. Tracy and I are sorting out downstairs. I've got a leak. I've got two leaks. I've got a leaky dishwasher. He's not very happy, so probably needs a service. So he's got a bit of a leak. I've got a leak in our staff toilets down here, which is, you know, heartbreaking. Um, and I don't know where it's coming from. It's not like bad, but obviously it's not good. So we've got some um, leaking coming from there, from above somewhere. So I've got to find out where that's from. And one of our hot water tanks has failed. So I've got to mend that this morning as well. And all I really want to do is watch telly with my lovely wife <laughs> and play with my roof tent. So I don't know how today's going to pan out. Sorry about this. You are living like <laughs> our real lives. But at b, b it's really glamorous. However, it, I, it, I do like what we do. It is, you know. It's just when everything happens at once, like today we've got a few problems all accumulating at once, it's just a bit, ah. Yes. I mean, and it's busy and it's just one of, the, one of those days. Just one of those days. Just one of those days. And we've, we had a very, very elderly gentleman in one of our guest rooms. He's made a, made a right mess. He definitely 
should not be allowed out on his own. So, you know, here we are. This is what we're doing. Anyway, I'm still feeling pre pretty positive. Had my cold shower this morning. Tracy, I've still not told you my life plans that are gonna revolutionize our lives. Okay. <laughs> um, I think you got an idea what they involve. I have no idea what they involve. It could be anything. Could be anything, couldn't it? Um, anyway, so we are sorting this out and then I've got to get some spare parts from Screwfix. Got them in the heating. God knows where that leak's coming from. That will just be a process of elimination. But first, I've not even had any breakfast yet. And it's like, you know, nearly 11 o'clock. Better sort me washing up out. Luke's got the day off today because, you know, when you're 21, can't work as hard as your aging parents. So he's having a sleep. We have got the dream team upstairs. Got lovely, obviously lovely Daisy, my Daisy. We got Darcy and Eleanor and they're sorting up out, upstairs. I've got my Discover Weekly on. My Discover Weekly, I don't know. You know, sometimes on Spotify, you have your Discover Weekly, so it suggests tunes for you. Mine is just like, it's bizarre. Like sometimes it nails it, and then other times, I don't know if I mentioned this before, in like within the last 12 months, it has recommended the theme from the cricket, you know, that one. And it has also recommended um, I Could Be So Good For You, the theme tune from Minder. What is that all about? Anyway, enough of me boring on, I better do some work. Right, it is just gone 12 o'clock. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I was gonna sneak up on you, what are you doing? You're cooking with hot fat and you're half naked. That's what the aprons are. I did, I did start... <laughs> hot fat? Oh no, I wasn't listening. Huh? Hot, hot fat? I only just woke up, I thought we said cooking naked, half fat. Um, yeah, I was cooking with <laughs> And they started spitting at me, so I put this on, and since then I've been absolutely fine. So nice. This is me now. So what have we got for breakfast? Some gyoza, mate. Some uh, chicken and vegetable gyoza. Oh, pretty balanced meal when you really think about it. Yeah, nice, eat. aren't they? Yeah. Are you having a nice day off? Yeah. I, I did that thing. I woke up at seven and then fell back asleep. And I wish I didn't, because then I had like three hour weird fever dream. You know, like when you wake up, you go back to sleep, you're always gonna have a weird one. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty sucky. And then I woke up even more tired <laughs> at 11. <laughs> nice, and, you, and you're repping the, uh, the ratatouille. ratatouille. I bought this for Daisy when I was in Disneyland Paris. She never wears it. That was um, one of my favorite Cheers Ears series, actually, your Disneyland Paris one. Yeah, guys, check it out. It's on brand. It's like the rest of the, uh, I edited the videos. So I filmed and edited, because mum and dad weren't there, uh, and Daisy, so. Check out the Disneyland Paris vlog if you want a good time. Nice. Uh, yeah. Right. So don't burn yourself. No, I'm done with it, mate. The washing up is done downstairs. I've mopped up the leak. Now I just need to work out where that's coming from. I've had a oh, look. Oh, there's a leak. Oh, this morning is not good. Um, and now I need to fix the, what's it called? Hot water tank. Right, it is coming up to 25 past one. Oh, before I forget, don't watch. Inventing Anna. It was all right. It wasn't as good as we thought it was going to be at the end, so it was I, okay. I have had nine hours stolen from my <laughs> life, and the, you know, it started off. The first episode was like, well, that's a bit slow, but it's got good people in it. Second episode, oh, still a bit slow, but I'm going to stick with it because I've watched one already. Third episode, oh, this is good. Fourth episode, oh, not so much. Fifth episode, this is brilliant. Anyway, and then it just jumped the shark. Anyway, I've replaced the thermostat in the um, hot water system. So I've been at Screwfix to do put that bit in. So that's fingers crossed that might be working. I'm going to wait until the water gets hot before I give myself one of them. Um, and now I've got to go to the dump where I've had the leak downstairs. Going in my shed, where I had the leak downstairs in. Um, it's in like when it was a restaurant back in the day. It's in the toilets down there, and ooh, it will be a process of elimination, but it's not its not what I would class as mucky water. It's not like gross, it's just clear water. So I think it might, I don't know where it's coming from. Who knows? Um, but what I'm gonna do is shut one of the rooms off because I think it's coming from the room above it. So we will see, anyway. I'm off to the dump because I've got some stuff to take to the dump. This has got to go. I've got some bits out there. So I'm going to go and have to put up with the boys at the dump who think they're hilarious, you know, when you take 
an old bath back. Oh, where's the best place for this, mate? In your bathroom, mate. We. So, um, yeah, off to the dump. Right, it is five to five. Um, you have to call a man out about the hot water tank because that is not working properly. I thought I'd fixed it, but I have not fixed it. But I am not a heating engineer. I am a B and B person type thing. Um, so that's a bit of a wound. Did um, did the dump. That was all good. Uh, Arsenal won, so Luke's very, very happy. I have spent the afternoon uh, doing pillowcases. Daisy, what are you doing? Animal Crossing. Having a nice time. Yeah, so we are going to have a bit of a chilled uh, evening. I think we're going to finish West Side Story. I'm doing a easy peasy dinner. We've got pork loin for me, Tracy and Luke. I'm going to do some easy peasy roasties. And Daisy is having a higgly piggly pie. This one is uh, sweet potato and feta. She likes that one. And Daisy is continuing with not eating meat. Also, Daisy had a bit of a you had a bit of bad news in the week, didn't you? I don't want to talk about that. You don't want to talk about it. it quite hard. What's happened? Well, Daisy was um, not feeling 100%, and uh, you've had to take a test. Well, I kept having like weird stomach aches, oh, and yeah. then I was like, maybe I should take food intolerance test. <clears throat> Thinking it might be bread or gluten. Think, yeah, I think it'd be something that's easily like, you know, changeable. I say I'm being dramatic to be honest, but I can't have milk or eggs. You didn't see me going had... full meltdown when, when I found out I couldn't have milk or, or bread. It's just the eggs for me, because I'd have eggs for breakfast every day, and that's why my stomach got all the time. Shout out to eggs. <laughs> Shout out to my eggs. Hello. Hi. No shirt, Luke. Oh, no shirt, Luke. <laughs> Um, right, so we are going to be getting uh, dinner on and having a bit of a chill. Oh, it is five to seven and my um, my easy sort of roast is pretty much there. I say easy roast, there's not a lot of effort gone into this. So, some roasties there. We've got a loin of pork, cabbage. I've been cooking the cabbage in stock. Gives it a bit more flavour. Veggie gravy for Daisy. Not homemade, I'm afraid. And her little... Um, Feta pie. We've been watching, um, finishing off West Side Story. That is just fabulous, like absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna have a bit of dinner and sit down and get ready for the week. You know, sorry it was a bit worky this weekend, but thank you so much for following us along on this um, weekend. We've got some really exciting stuff coming up. Luke and I are testing um, next weekend at Snetterton and we've got some other bits and pieces coming up which we are really excited to tell you about. Um, so we'll keep you posted. So stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers, is.